Hello, this is Sam Sterling from Primary Maths Made Easy. What we're going to look at today is, as you can see, column subtraction. Now this is the first part, I'm going to do two parts because it gets a little trickier whenever you've got lots of zeros in your subtractions, but we're going to look at it this way. But the same rules apply. First rule, line it up. We talked about this with addition, but it's key with subtraction. Second, put zeros in the gaps. If you've got any gaps, you'll see what I mean, put zeros in. And thirdly, if the top number is smaller, borrow. You must, 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 must borrow. Okay, so let's do an example. Number one. Oh, so say we've got four the hundred and twenty two take away sixty eight point four. Okay? Again, like with addition, we need to get these numbers in the right columns lined up properly. So we know in the 400, we've got 400, so two tens, two units. In the 68.4, we've got six tens, eight units, decimal point, four tenths. So we need a column which has hundreds, tens, units, decimal point, and tenths. So these will fit directly underneath. So we'll put, always with subtraction, you put the first number has to go at the top. So we put 422. Take away 68, making sure it's in the right column, tens, units, 0.4. Now we've got it all lined up, but the second rule, we must put zeros in the gaps. So here, I've got a gap. Here, under the hundreds, I've got a gap. Now, we are ready to do our subtraction. The third rule of subtraction is going to come into place straight away. If we start from the right, we'll go 0, take away 4. We have a problem straight away. Our problem is the top number is smaller than the bottom number. Okay, So we need to borrow. And where you borrow from is the person beside you. So the 0 looks to the 2, says, can I borrow 1? He's like, yep, I got 2. So the 2 becomes a 1 and lands him a 1. Now he becomes a 10. So the 1 and the 0 make a 10. So then we go 10, take away 4, we can do, which is 6. Then we move on to the next column. 1, take away 8 now, because he's turned into a 1. Third row, if the top number is smaller, we need to borrow. So he looks to his friend, he's like, yep, I can lend you 1. So he becomes a 1. Now he becomes a, an 11. So that's 11, take away 8 is 3. And always try and put the decimal point down as you go past or you'll forget. Then we look at the third column, 10s. 1, take away 6. Again, we'll have to follow the third row. We need to borrow because it's smaller. So he looks at the person beside, the 4 goes, yep, yeah, I can lend you 1. So he becomes a 3. He's now at 11. That's 11, take away 6, which gives me 5. The top number is bigger, so 3 take away 0, which is 3, which gives us the answer. So 353.6. So just to reiterate those rules, line it up. So important. Put zeros in the gaps. Must, must, must do that. If the top number is smaller, then you must borrow. Okay, thank you.